G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Today I'm having a look at some amazing new tech in the agricultural space. Drones being used for overhead spraying and seeding. This is pretty impressive kit and I'm sure you'll agree this is an exciting new space in agriculture, so let's find out more. <laughs> Tom, how are you mate? Tim, very good. Nice to meet you. Mate, it's fantastic to meet you too. Thank you very much for having me out here today. That is Pleasure. an impressive piece of kit. I it mean, is. the noise of that thing coming over your head. Yeah, yeah, no, it is impressive. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's got some uh, good multi-rotor advancement there for, uh, for drone tech, for sure. Yeah. Now, this is a fairly rare drone. There's only four or five in the country at the moment that are working commercially. Uh, as far as we know, commercial operations here in South Australia, there's only probably two. So, right. Yeah. On the East Coast, there's a few more. You're right. But um, yep. no, there's not, not many around. So we're very fortunate to have one in um, uh, to uh, get up and about in. It's great. Now, a lot of people are using drones for taking aerial images Correct, um, yeah. and for doing stock trough monitoring and fence line monitoring and that sort of thing. Yeah. But it's taken a fair while for drones to sort of come into, I suppose, the practical space on farms. Correct. When we're talking about spraying and aerial seeding. Now, you mm. guys are into both of those things. We're we are. To talk about those today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, we're, we're still competing against some history and yep. some farming, uh, I guess, traditions that have yes. carried on for a long time. So. Um, and Adam would say the same thing. We're not here to compete with those boom sprayers and you know, yep. the tractors and stuff, but we're there to provide an additional source for them to be able to get in on a wet paddock. Uh, we can do multiple drones if they want. One drone on its own on a flat deck, a yep. bit different today because we've got a lot of stuff to deal with in um, obstacles, yeah. etc. It can do a lot of, lot of hectares, almost 200 a day. So that's but, pretty good for a but machine. But you're, like you're really shining in an environment like this though, aren't you, Tom? Because mm. it's quite a complex job what you're doing today. And you're it actually getting to on it, top yeah. of a fruit fly infestation in the Riverland. Yeah. yeah, we feel very fortunate to be involved in that. And uh, really stoked that Perza approached us and said, look, yeah. you know, we've got an opportunity here. We want to see how this goes. And um, I think, yeah, Adam and I are quite, uh, yeah, quite chuffed to be part of that uh, initial stage uh, in, yeah. in attacking something that's so important to our industry in South Australia. And the drone is ideal for what you're doing today, isn't it? Because it's aerial baiting of large established trees. Yes. And the fruit flies are actually going up to the top of those trees. They so are. your traditional yes. sprayers wouldn't be able to get on top of that. Would, no. Not as easily. Anyway. No, no. It's a bit of a combo package, isn't it? So you've got traditional baiting at the bottom. Yep. And that's what they've asked us to do is to get in and, and get where the females are sitting up the top yeah. um, and, you know, do some do some uh, really good uh, application on the tops of those canopies. But this machine will push it all the way down, like it's incredible, yep. even from 30 metres. We have to go 30 metres around here sometimes, and you know, those trees are getting really good coverage. Yeah. And the wash from the props probably helps with the spraying as well, exactly. doesn't it? It helps yeah. with the mixing and agitation of the droplets as they come down. They do, yeah, it's a, it's a great technology. It's, uh, it's adaptable with RPM, um, with speed, height, droplet size, uh, hectares per you know litres per hectare yeah um which is really cool for us to, that you can come into a land owner and they can say look i really want this can you do it and 99 percent of the time absolutely so it's true custom droplet application size yes you, you can just do everything just with the rpm of the of the, of the engines yeah yeah the, well the um yeah that's right it cuts it cuts through the drops as it's coming out of the yep. uh, the pumps here so yeah. we can change uh how big that cut is you're actually a commercial pilot Correct. trade. You flew the airlines for a while. I did, yes. And then you've ended up into the ag space, which was sort of coming back home for you, wasn't it? It was, yeah, yeah. I grew up on a farm, so I'm happy to yep. be involved with something that includes aviation and some agriculture. It's really good. Now, it's, it's pretty important that you know what you're doing when you're flying one of these things. There's a bit of a process behind this. Yes, um, correct. You yeah. actually sent up a smaller drone to begin with to map the place? Yeah, we've got a, an XAGX mission um, yep. that can go up to roughly, you, we run it about 90 metres, so nearly mm -hmm. 300 feet, 270 around there. And it, uh, it gives us the ability to create some NDVI imaging for this yep. um, area that we're in. 
uh, shows your crop health, irrigation leaks, things like that. Yeah. So you're starting out with an aerial image that then guides your activities, but the money for you is in the spraying, the seeding, and those sorts of abilities that you have with this impressive piece of kit here. How many kilos payload does this machine have? The spray uh, system itself can carry 40 litres. Right. And we can adjust the hectare rate to whatever the uh, landholder would like. Yep. Um, so yeah, based on that, you can do almost 200 hectares a day with your spray on. 200 hectares of spray Yeah, on a day. flat deck if you were just uh, launching out over a, you know, a broad acre paddock or a vineyard or something similar, yep. you'd get that nice very well. Um, the seeding module is about 60 kilos right? and it has a really good swath spread. Um, we did some seeding in the Flurio just recently, yep. some ryegrass, um, granular sizes, you know, we've got a limit, I think it was about 8 mil, so it's quite good. You can get a lot of stuff in there and it uses a couple of little augers at the bottom and spreads yeah. it out nice. Alright, so Adam, this is our cedar and this somehow replaces the spray tank. Absolutely, so at, at the moment the drone is set up with the liquid module. Yep. All we do is unclip the propellers, yep. lift it over. Onto so that whole module just comes over and clicks onto here? Absolutely, clips onto here. Yep. Um, I guess from there we fill up using, um, I guess the space here like we normally would with our cedar, yep. using the augers down the bottom, spinning around um, yep. at pace and then we can uh, once again drop the seeds uh, as we need to do depending on the and application. you can vary the, the pace of the augers and you can vary the pace of the drone so you can vary your seeding rate and get it absolutely precise. 100%, so therefore our kilos per, per hectare can be as precise as it needs to be for the client. And once again it's GPS guided, um, it's all pre-programmed in the flight, as soon as this thing takes off it's looking after itself. Completely So completely you're autonomous. not going to get any variance in your seeding rate at all are you? Absolutely correct. So people with steep hills, gullies, creeks, waterways, rehabilitation of un unusable land, this sort of stuff would be perfect, wouldn't it? Absolutely. So at the moment, we've been dropping a lot of clover, a lot of ryegrass um, yep. as coverage for the ground. Um, we've also been throwing out things like granular fertiliser as well, so making sure that we have a range of different possibilities that we can do. Well, mate, let's get this cracking. I can't wait to see some seeding today. Can't wait to show you. Fantastic. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and there's plenty more on timthompson.ag, and you can get hold of Adam and Tom via Dart, Drones, and the link's in the description. Good Thanks, on Tim. you, mate. Thanks Appreciate for your time. It. No worries at all. Thank you.